Servilar River, a perennial river, located in the forest region of Western Ghats of the Indian Peninsula, runs mightily through the dense forest regions of the Tirunel Valley district. These surrounding forests are home to many of India's indigenous wildlife and fauna. Servalar Dam is located amidst two of India's major tiger reserves. Mundane Thurai and Kalakad in the state of Tamil Nadu. The dam is constructed across the river Servalar which is one of the major tributaries of the famous river Thamrabarani. The river derives its name from the rich copper content in the water Thamaram meaning copper in the local Tamil language. The Servalar River after traveling for 10 kilometers confluences with the Thamarabarani River at a diversion where and finally after traveling for more than 120 kilometers reaches the ocean near Tutikoran. Around the dam and the banks of the river, we can find many beautiful waterfalls valleys and gorges, as well as some of India's indigenous wildlife and flora. Tanjetko, a state government body with a 2,300 megawatts hydropower installed capacity and owns more than 30 large dams in the state of Tamil Nadu. There is a 20 megawatts powerhouse getting generated from the water of Servalar Dam. Servalar Dam supplies water for irrigation and drinking water needs. Around 50,000 acres of land are irrigated with this water, and also serves the drinking water needs of 5 million people. Servalar Dam is a stone masonry dam of height 57 meter and length 465 meter constructed in the year 1986, with the state government's fund at an initial cost of 270 crore Indian rupees. Over years, the dam started to leak leading to continuous uncontrolled discharge of leaked water on the downstream side and drainage gallery, especially at the spillway and left flank which was leaking beyond limits, approximately 5000 liters per minute. The leaked water, thus discharged into the river rendering its use unsuitable for neither power nor for irrigation. Over a decade the client Tanjedka made several attempts to repair the dam and prevent leakage. The leakage could not be controlled for nearly a decade. After persistent leakages in the dam in the early 2000s, Tanjetko performed repointing with epoxy in critical areas, where the leakage was more and cement grouting was carried out from crest of the dam at critical locations. This epoxy pointing lasted almost for half a decade. In spite of trying these conventional methods, the leakage in the gallery and downstream side continued to rise and was around 5000 liters per minute approximately. Relief to the dam arrived in 2014 when Central Government of India and World Bank together initiated the dam rehabilitation program DRIP to improve the safety and stability of over 5400 large dams in India. In this program, Servalar was identified as one of the prominent dams that needed immediate repair to attend to left flank and spillway on priority basis. And the approval was accorded immediately. In 2016, the rehabilitation work with geomembrane system was finalized. The installation crew was led by Europeans and supported by Indian technicians. The crew comprised of professionals with over 20 years of experience in dam rehabilitation. And they had to plan the installations with the Indian monsoon in mind, making the necessary design changes to accommodate the monsoon impact. After a thorough inspection the crew decided to prepare the upstream by getting rid of loose particle and all unstable mortars while the loose mortars were removed and repointed in places that were necessary. Once the surface was clean, the experts reviewed the surface and deemed it ready for the installation. With many parameters to consider, finally PVC geomembrane waterproofing system was chosen as a permanent and long-term solution for the left flank and spillway region. This geomembrane creates a barrier between body of the dam and the water, draining it through a sophisticated drainage system. This ensures that in case of any accidental damages to the membrane, the drainage system conveys the water in a controlled manner. The geomembrane waterproofing is a well-proven system in many dams and is recommended by Ecold. Its efficiency is unquestionable with zero reports of failure with over 160 dams installed by Carpi since the 1960s. The anchoring elements were made of stainless steel 304 grade and they are the vital elements that defines the longevity of the system. An anti-puncture layer, 
A very thick geotextile of thickness 2000 grams per square meter was also laid over the entire upstream face of the dam to protect the geomembrane from any kind of puncturing. After laying the geotextile, a band of drainage layer was installed along the axis of the gallery to convey the drained water into the gallery. This ensures the body of the dam is not saturated. The geotextile and the geonet were then covered completely by the geomembrane layer installed from the top of the dam to the bottom. At Servilar, the geomembrane was anchored right at the toe end of the dam. However to reach the toe end, great volumes of desilting had to be done with about 50,000 cubic meter of silt being excavated. Desilting such huge volumes in a perennial river was a big challenge. Finally the geocomposites were unrolled and seamed together by hot air welding. The entire project was completed in three phases spread out to suit to the monsoon and adverse weather conditions. Servilar Dam now goes into the records as the first dam to be rehabilitated with PVC geomembrane system under drip. Since then, the dam has been gaining popularity for the beautiful landscape around it where there have been sightings of many wild animals. Many tourists visit Servalar Dam today as common sight to see leopards and bears in this part of the country. Tangedko is now completely satisfied with the outcome of the work and expects many such dams to be rehabilitated and thereby increasing the life of all the aging dams. Servalar Dam now stands tall with its reinforced structure and a sound waterproof solution stands fresh and ready to brave even the strongest of floods or inflow of any kind for the next four to five decades at least. The result is evident now with the downstream side completely dry and the gallery totally dry. Copy.